so 18 in pets by Sarah Penny Parker. Let's start, okay? So, um, how, so Vola, how would you describe this Vola? And, um, how do you like the three conditions that Vola sets out for Peter? And how do you like Vola's house? Do you think that it's too cramped and little or do you think it's perfect? And, um, um, you know how like Peter chose from the, from like, um, like, um, candy jars, like there's like cherries, plums, tomatoes, blueberries, apples, pumpkin, pears, green beans, beets, peaches. If you had been, um, if you had been Peter, what would you have chosen? I was just interested in it. Um, but anyway, also, um, uh, electricity, Vola does not have electricity, right? She only ha she powers everything by gas. Would you like it if you had no electricity or do you think that it would be miserable for you? And I understand if it is miserable for you too. And, and then there's also Francois Villon, right? Villon, or, which is actually, um, a raccoon. How do you like this raccoon? And do you think that it's smart for the rat for this raccoon to do what he's doing? You know, communicating. I'm not really communicating, but making a deal with his with Vola. And um, and then she asked, and Vola asked, and okay, this is a quote. Okay, this is this. What do you suppose that makes you wild or tame? Are you wild or are you tame in your opinion? Okay, and so Pax, um, okay, so, um, and then like, so, how do you, I mean, Pax is very tired and very, 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 um, hungry, right? And, and Runt gives Pax worms at first, but then eggs, right? Um, how much do you like eggs? And, um, and did you think that he was like, um, also, also, um, Pax, Pax is, um, bigger than Runt, but he is, um, pretty, but still, Runt's pretty, um, friendly and really worth it, right? And, um, and have you ever eaten raw eggs before? But also, um, okay, so, why do you think that Peter is like doing extra exercises? And um, when Vola isn't looking, and um, also, do you, and how, what do you think is gonna work out with like writing the note to his grandfather? Do you think everything's gonna work out? And um, what did you think about the Phoenix? I mean, did you think it was cool? And how do you think that Peter felt when he was saying all these things about his mom, right, who died? And um, and also, um, I want to ask you, um, so, um, Peter's being afraid that he would he will become like his father. I mean, would you be afraid if you're Peter or not? And Pax actually means um, peace, right? Uh, and um, if you had been Peter, what would you have named Pax? And um, also, um, Vulma's right now, like sometimes she's really nice, right? And um, I really wanted to comment on this and it's just that like, um, so she's really nice at unexpected moments. So how do you think that this Vola is changing? And um, Vola, she lost her leg by scouting in a minefield. And if you had been Vola, would you have even agreed to do that? And um, so, but anyway, we're going back to Pax. Um, he steals some meat, right? Um, have you ever eaten pork or ham or anything like that? Did you like it? But then, um, I wanted to go a little fast forward. Gray. He steps on one of those wires. Boom. Well, Gray dies, right? How do you think 
the packs fell. And how did you feel when you read that part? Um, and and um, do you think that what these people are doing, these men from the camp, do you think that this is right? But I actually wanted to talk about Peter's father. He's in the camp, right? And we also learned that Peter's father is volunteering. Well, I mean, do you think that Peter's father is doing the right thing? And, and how do you like Peter's father now? But anyway, um, there's some grace me of grace memories, right? Um, did you feel really sad when you when you heard those memories and you're like, Whoa. it was really sad, right? Pax went back. They learned about it. Um, well, Gray's mate was thankful because um, Pax had helped Gray. And are there any changes in Bristol, right? And um, I'm just gonna keep on talking about Bristol and um, and about Pax. Okay, and then I'll go back to um, the back to Peter. But I just wanted to talk about this because these chapters keep on switching from Pax to Peter. Peter's packs, right? So, yeah, it, it keeps on constantly changing. So I just thought I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cover one character whole for like one for half of the video, the other character whole for the other half of the video. But anyway, um, so, um, like, so he actually uh packs, um, so he goes back, right? Well, I mean, and so what? And um, the and uh. If you're a Pax, would you go back? Because it's really dangerous. Like it's a minefield, right? And um, and Bristle follows him, right? Why do you think that Bristle followed him when, like, she doesn't even care for him? And then Runt follows. Runt steps on a wire. Gosh. So these wires are really, really, really annoying me. I mean, if you had been a human, what would you have done to those wires? Would you have just stayed, let them stay put, or would you have ripped all of them up? I would have ripped all of them up, or maybe I would have set a fire and then it would, well, not a fire because then the animals and plants in, over there, like that lives there, their habitats will be destroyed, their homes will be destroyed. But anyway, Runt's leg is hurt. Uh, um, his, um, one of his legs are gone. Um, how do you think that Bristle felt, how do you think that Pax felt about all this? And, um, so, um, how do you feel about humanity after you've read this? You can see that humanity is imperfect, but how do you feel about all this, about humans after this? Because humans are doing, are not the best people who are right now conserving the natural environment, right? Um, we're using tons of electricity, tons of water, um, soon, um, lots of gas, we're doing pollution, making animals endangered, we're killing animals, we're, we're making habitat loss, we're doing bad things for animals and nature, and, and all in all, it's really bad, right? We're killing each other, we're in, uh, there's a lot of injuries, um, uh, and we affect lots of things. The world isn't perfect. No world is is perfect at all. Any world isn't perfect, but we can do what we can do about this. Okay, so um, so I think that we should just all really focus in on this good, and I think that we should all do something good. It might be in your household, or it might be for somebody else, or it might just be like a project, a community service project. You could do that. I mean, um, one an hour school actually uh, does some community service projects. Or you could join the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts. They they sometimes help the seniors or something like that, or some things like that. It's pretty cool. Or you could, yeah, you could do a lot of things to do to help this world um, get a little better. And if you want, actually, um, you can. Uh, like, if you want, you can do your own things. Like, if you want to become a governor to make the world better, you could do that. Or something like that. Anything, really. So, I thought that was just really important, okay? Okay, so, we're going back to Peter and the marionettes. 
So, how do you feel about marionettes? And do you think that they are pretty spooky? But what do you think about Vola's marionettes? They're really different from normal marionettes. And um, so Peter, um, if you have been Peter, would you have been struggling to also work the marionettes? And why do you think that if you um, re if you build a marionette, then you'll be good at controlling the marionette? And uh, so also Vola says that she murdered somebody. I mean, if you have been Peter, how would you have felt about this? She's with um, her all alone in the wilderness. Nobody's there to save him. And she's like, I have murdered somebody. How would you have felt if you had been Peter? How do you think that Peter felt? Well, and then she tells her story. And do you think that counts as murdering or not? But she thinks it's murdering. And, um, but anyway, do you think that a um, war is a terrible thing? And do you think that we should prevent war? Oh, and here's another thing that humans are doing very bad at, war. Um, we've, had, we've had hundreds of wars, thousands of wars from the start of humanity. Big ones, like um, the Vietnam War, the Korean War, World War II, World War I, the Civil War, the Revolutionary War. And there's also small battles everywhere in history. There's like from other countries too, the Trojan War, civil wars in Afghanistan, territorist attacks. Um, right now there's some conflicts in the Middle East. So many things, right? And um, so, and this is, um, this war, we should also stop this war, right? Um, you can actually send candy to the troops if you want, which is pretty fun. And, um, right, so you could do anything for the troops too. So I think that we should also help the troops, okay? We need to think of these troops, okay? They're out in um, all the other parts of the world. They're, they're doing their best to um, make this world a Good, better place, right? So we should really appreciate these troops. Let's, um, think about if we didn't have any um, the any soldiers in the army. How do you think that the world would be? It would be in chaos, right? And um, we should also think of the people, the soldiers who died in the war. Um, I don't really want to go into this, but millions of people died um, in war. In World War II alone, 60 million people died. And also there's other wars that many other people have died in. Thousands, millions of people. All in all, wars have probably killed about a billion people. More, maybe two billion, three billion, four billion. Maybe more than, more, maybe more than 10 billion. Or well, maybe not 10 billion, but you can see that there's an incredible high amount of people who that have died because of wars. But let's get back on the subject, okay? So, um, um, how do you think that this um, playing this the uh, the Sinbad, right? This play, how do you think that this helps? Um, why do you think that Vola is doing this? How do you think that this sort of helps honor this? Um, person, how do you think that playing this play honors this person? And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, how do you think that Peter feels about all this? And um, from one to ten, how would you say you like Vola? And um, could you list a few um, a few things that Vola is very um, a few times that Vola's been really nice to Peter? And Vola says that she likes to live alone. Well, not likes, but like she um, wants to live alone until she finds every piece of her, about her, right? Um, and do you think that you, if you had been Vola, you would have lived alone in the middle of wilderness? Well, not in the middle of the wilderness, like not completely in the middle of wilderness, like miles away from civilization or anything. But you got the point, right? And um, I also wanted to ask you, why do you think that she wants nobody to come here? Because when Peter, uh, because um, she said that P that his his grand Peter's grandfather couldn't come to her house. She, why do you think so? And um, do you think that um, do you think that uh, Vola, right? Vola 
there is a can, right? And in this can, um, there was some lots of scraps of pe paper, and one of them was this. I, I think I would have made a good teacher, which means this. I mean, Peter finds it, right? Um, maybe these are all the parts of her that she has found so far. Do you think that Vola would have made a good teacher anyway? And um, and what do you and do you think that this is private, or do you think that this should be shared with other people? I think it's a little private, right? It's is Vola's what's doing it. If she wants to share, she can share it. If she doesn't want to share, she doesn't have to share it. And um, finally, we've had actually a pretty long discussion today. And um, before I, I before we finish, um, I actually wanted to ask you, what was your favorite character uh, in this in this book so far? And. Um, also, why do you think that Peter doesn't want to be like his father and grandfather anyway? Okay, now I'm gonna ask you a few last questions, okay? They are, what was your favorite part in these chapters? Always ask this. What was your favorite part in this book so far? Also always ask this, and um, okay. What do you predict is gonna happen next? And how do you like this book so far? Do you think that um, this makes humanity seem bad? Do you think that this is a very good and heartwarming book? How do you feel about this? Or are you like in the middle? I don't know. Well, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this session with me, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day, okay guys? And, um, also, uh, I did want to inform you that Sarah Pennypacker, um, she has made some other books, okay? Um, I might not be able to do them, but I think that you will really enjoy um, reading them alone, okay? And also, there is actually a second book to the pack series. You should check that one out too, okay? Um, but you shouldn't look at the cover, okay? Because that sort of spoils it. But anyway, hope that you, again, I hope that you had a great session with me. Have a great rest of your day, and bye!